All right, y'all. Tonight for dinner, we're going to have fried cactus and fried steak. And the first thing we do, I'm going to show you how to make the fried cactus. I'm not going to show you how to make the steak because, you know, it's just steak. Okay, so we took the cactus and we cut all the spines off of it. Now, that brown was not there. That's just from the air getting to it. Um, you know, we get all the spines off, cut the end off because it has kind of a like a really hard end. You can't eat that part. And then we chop it up into slices like this. All right. The next thing we do, we got our cactus all cut up right here. The next step is to add it to boiling water. Don't add it to cold water. Add it to boiling water. Boil it when put a, uh, say a couple of teaspoons of salt in the water. That will help give it some flavor. All right. Um, the water doesn't have to be briskly boiling. I just cut the camera off and added it, and you see it's got some bubbles coming up. So that means the water's um, hot enough to add the cactus. Okay, you see our cactus is boiling. I've, I've already cut it off because it's turned this, it's went from that bright green color to this dull color, almost like, um, like my son said, like the color of jalapeno peppers, pickled jalapeno peppers. So um, now it would be ready at this point to go to the next step. Alright, at this point I've taken the cactus and drained the water out of it just like you would noodles or something like that. And um, I got the frying pan heating up. Okay. Now you see the pan is on about medium heat. And I've thrown the cactus in there and I'm just going to stir it around. Keep moving it around. Let it cook. Let it all cook really good. In it. And if you didn't add a lot of salt or any salt to the water, at this point you probably want to salt it up just a little bit. And um, I think probably a little dash of lemon juice, like some plain lemon juice or a squeeze of lemon or lime would be really good to add to it also. I'm going to finish cooking it up and then I'm going to show you the end result. Alright. I've got the cactus all done and the steak is all done and I put a avocado on the plate and of course you've got to have a jalapeno pepper and I have to say I've tried this cactus and it's delicious you got to try this recipe it is, well it's not really a recipe you just got to try it my husband showed me how to cook it and he grew up eating it in Mexico and um, the guy the Spanish market where I bought it told me that it is good for diabetes. I don't know what he meant by that, but he said it's good if you're diabetic. He knows me and he knows I'm diabetic, so he said this is good for you to eat. He said it's really good for diabetics. So, got another steak cooking there. And uh, we're going to eat good tonight, y'all. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.